order. Ask Alderman Collier if he would have our invocation. <coughs> Mr. Bowling, please. Heavenly Father, we humbly come to before you tonight to give thanks for all your many blessings. We especially give thanks for letting you live in a society where we can self govern. Be with us as we go through our, the city's business tonight. May everything we do be pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's give everyone stand, face the flag. Ms. Hill, if you would, please lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is that the best you can do? She wouldn't seem to quit making fun of her. All right, I think you received the uh, minutes from the January 26th meeting. Those are in order. You entertain a motion for approval. Motion approved. Have a first by uh, Ms. Warren, second. Second. Second, Ms. Hill. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes. We'll move on to comments from citizens. Anyone here tonight that wants to address the board? Mm -hmm. Same rules apply. Right, <laughs> right under five minutes. Uh, no, I'll be real short. Um, we met with the Public Works Committee and uh, understood uh, Mr. Mayor Vaughn. He said that it wouldn't be addressed tonight on the, the metering ordinance. But uh, we come just to uh, kind of uh, keep up with what's going on and ask a couple of questions. Uh, one of the questions I had is. Uh, do you plan on meeting the fourth Monday night uh, as a board of aldermen? And if so, are you going to address this at that time? No plans to right now. Okay, good. And also, we uh, talked about and requested a legal opinion in that meeting. I was wondering if we had received that yet. But Not you. to our knowledge. Sir? Not to our knowledge. Okay. No. Okay. That's about all I had. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else? Not. We'll move on to uh, report from city manager, buddy. We had a uh, progress meeting last night. It's on the construction project underway at the wastewater disposal plant. Uh, that project got a little off schedule, and uh, it's now back on schedule. Mm. If you remember, that's a seven hundred eighty-nine thousand dollar project. We're funding that with a. $500,000 from a community development block grant and the remainder comes from the city water and sewer fund on that project. Ought to be complete within another 45 days. We're, we're hoping to get that wound up closed down. Uh, the next one, uh, also a community development block grant, $670,000 project, and that's the 10-inch water main from the wells over in Newtown to the Town Hill water storage tank. I've met in the last few days with two property owners that will be affected by that that would be needing easements from or at least permission to cross their property. And uh, so we continue to work on the route on that. So we get the route nailed down, that project won't move, uh, won't move uh, forward. Uh, last week we had emergency repair at the Duck River Water Treatment Plant. We had a motor go down, $8,000 to repair it or $17,000 to replace it. So we chose to make the repair and the motor's back in place and that pump is running. That's one of the pumps that sends the water supply up here to town. Uh, next Wednesday, Carson, Corey Burkett, and myself are going to go to a class in Jackson on water loss reduction and rate setting. It's a workshop for small systems like ours that serve fewer than 10,000 customers. So hopefully we'll go down and uh, get a little more knowledge and see what's going on within the industry and hopefully learn some things that will help us in some of our issues that we're working on. At the time of year, we need to start thinking also about July 4th fireworks display. If we're going to do a fireworks display, July 4th will fall on Saturday this year. And, uh, you know, within the next 30, 45 days, we'll need to advertise that we're going to do one, get some bids in here and get the contract nailed down because it's going to be on a Saturday night. There'll be a lot of displays across the, across the area. We just need to start to start thinking about that. That's all I have. Okay. Without objection, I think we'll tell Buddy to go ahead and advertise and get the bids. Then we'll we'll see where they come in, where That's we are at that time. Yeah. So just go ahead and go ahead and get that get the, that information. Okay. We'll move on to uh, committee reports. Uh, anyone on the board tonight have a report? Mike, you need to. We uh, we met Mayor. Uh, we're the board received a, uh, a copy of the work that Carson's done. 
uh, it's as we all know it's a complex issue we're trying to work through it and uh, as a wise mayor told me one time we don't you know we need to take our time and make sure we do things right uh, being as we have that time and that's the intent of public works is to come back to this board with a recommendation very good we'll move on to our city officers Gary no Corey um, I talked with uh, local engineer about the interconnection should meet with him tomorrow uh, that's up at all of take away probably the next couple of weeks so we'll be connected to lots of them here pretty soon okay johnny grant okay uh under old business item a is the second reading of the ordinance having to do with our metering and billing uh once again without objection i'm going to ask that we postpone this to the march meeting while we continue to study okay see there ronnie very good. Thank you. You didn't believe me, did you? <laughs> they keep us out. <laughs> we'll move on to uh, new business. Uh, item A is the decoration as surplus, uh, a 1976 Caterpillar D7. And we also have uh, some police radio equipment that we need to declare surplus. I think the police department list, you have that. Mayor, also, if they could add a K-9 carrier to that, too, that came out of one of those vehicles, but I can dispose of that also. Okay. We don't have any cars that we can add in. <laughs> you have to ask your police chief or your department. They're coming, that's right. Good deal. <laughs> okay, so a motion to declare these items surplus. Okay, have a first for Mr. Folks, second Mr. Goodman. All in favor say aye. Aye. <clears throat> any opposed? Item B is the consideration of a resolution in support of a loan agreement with the Tennessee Municipal Bond Fund to provide funding for the wastewater improvements. Um, this is just a process we're going through to basically get our money in place um, until the project is, is bid and awarded and we actually draw down. We won't, uh, we won't be charged right. any, any fees or, or interest anyway. So this is just getting the money in place. So um, motion to approve that resolution. There's two resolutions, Mayor. You've got another one, have you, that is I, it, I don't. Initial resolution and actual loan resolution. Okay. I think we have one here, right? One before us, buddy. I, I failed to send the second one out in, in the packet, but they are two resolutions. Okay. Uh, both of them at the same time, John Lee? Okay. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, so we've got two resolutions. Legal will take care of that. So motion to approve. First for Mr. Wheeler. Second, Ms. Hill. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes. Um, item C is the first reading of an ordinance authorizing an agreement with the uh, with MTAS basically to review uh, our water and wastewater rates. We're gonna bring in the professionals and let them take a look at where we are as well. So um, this is an ordinance. It takes two readings. So uh, motion, Mr. Collier, second. Mr. Folks, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, that passes. Item D is uh, consideration of a task order with Jacobs Engineering to design uh, our Duck, Duck River water treatment plant lagoons. Um, I think you've got a copy of that task order. I think Corey and Buddy have talked with Jason. Uh, I would say that this number you see of $27,000 is a very, it's a maximum. Uh, this will actually be done on an hourly basis. A lot of this stuff we can do ourselves. And I think we can cut those costs down. So basically we're just approving uh, their services, but we'll control what needs to be done. Uh, so motion to approve that. So moved. Have a first by Ms. Warren, second Mr. Goodman. Yes, All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Any other business? Motion to adjourn. Too late. Couldn't get it that time, good.